one for the better team. I can't say it any other way. I don't really think everybody knows what they're about to witness. I have no talent when I see one. I should be an NFL scout. Jonathan, I don't like that pick. I love that pick. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Dorm Bait Podcast, and welcome to our division episode where we predict uh, the first place team and the last place team in every division in the NFL. In this episode, we are doing the AFC North. Now, if you're new to football or you've just forgot, these are the teams that are in the AFC North. We got the Ravens, the Browns, the Steelers, and the Bengals. Now, from last year, surprisingly, three of these teams out of the four made the playoffs. Ravens, Browns, and Steelers. So this is arguably the best division in the AFC. Now, last year, the Ravens were the one seed. The Browns, I believe, were a five. And then the Steelers, I think, were the last wildcard team in. I don't remember, but that feels right. right to me. Um yeah, let's just go right into who we have in first. Uh, so for me, in first place, nothing's really changed for me. I got the Ravens coming in first. Wow. Um, yeah, I also have the Ravens coming in first. I have the Ravens as well. I also have the Ravens coming in first. Wow. Okay. Beautiful. Interesting. Handshakes but, all around, boys. Yeah. Handshakes all around. Well, all not, to, not to call you out, Jared, but you said nothing's changed. You picked the Bengals last <laughs> Oh, Con, somebody else. Oh. <laughs> I'm just I meant, no, I meant nothing mean? changed like last year they came in first. Oh, uh, okay. Not okay, my that's... personal. <laughs> freaking shots was, fired over here. I didn't mean to call you out, but I was just <laughs> making sure my stats were correct. I know. Right. I know. Joe Burrow got hurt. All right? I know. <laughs> no, I had them as well. I, we're going down together. <laughs> Yeah, but you didn't say that. You called me out. Yeah, but. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Who is coming in dead last? Last year it was the Bengals. (laughs) I think this year. Say it together. (laughs) Say it together? Yeah, I think think we can say it together. Yeah, I think we can. We say it together? Okay. Yeah. Three, two, one. Brown. Steelers. Steelers. Wait, what? Someone said said what? Who Who said Browns? I said Browns. Brown. Why? Who's, Wait, who, you all said Steelers? Yeah. Jonathan, what'd you say? Steelers. I said Steelers. What? Yeah, Steelers. John. You think Mike Tomlin's gonna come in last in a division? Yeah. He like makes the you playoffs can, every year. You can still have a winning record, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, Bengals were nine and eight last year and were dead last. Wow. <laughs> so that's that's on but, par for the Steelers. I can't I, believe I, you guys I, don't think Mike Tomlin. Okay. But like right. Russell Wilson Wait, and, so all right, yeah, I have a question. Yeah, let me ask you guys. Too many cooks in the kitchen. So who do you think is going to be the starting quarterback? Because whoever you think is going to be the better of the two players, Wilson or Fields, you still don't have faith in whoever the better one is. No. Yeah, that's that's right. So who's gonna <laughs> who's gonna win the yeah. battle? Who's gonna they'll, win the battle and not be good enough? They'll still have the worst quarterback in in the division. Yeah. Well, it's whether what? It's I, I love Wilson, the guy. Right, whether it's Justin Fields. No, I think Wilson's going to start because of his experience. They both suck. So you got to just what are you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do? You pick the guy with more experience, the guy that you know won a Super Bowl and been to two Super Bowls. Yeah, Russell Wilson's going to start. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, there's a reason Denver shifted him off. Um, you know, he's not. He's he's not he's not great. They're all they're both not great. If you've been watching the preseason games, it's kind of tough to watch. I feel bad for George Pickens. He's wasting his talent being on that team. So uh, yeah, I think they're gonna get in last. Um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't. The Browns have Deshaun. Deshaun, don't, don't forget that. And yes, I he's know. Been, yeah, but they been... don't have Nick. You know, Nick Chubb isn't isn't healthy. Yeah, but they got Jerome Ford. He had a lot of playing time yeah, last year. A lot of playing he's time. Not Nick Chubb. He's he's ready. Honestly, he's ready the defense the defense was abnormally good last year. Remember how they were like top three? That's they gonna were, yeah, that's gonna be very difficult. Single handedly winning games. Yeah, for them. exactly. That's with, gonna be with Dorian Finney Smith, Joe Flacco, yeah. quarterback, or whatever his name. Not Dorian Finney Smith. Dorian Robinson. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a basketball player, but yeah, dude, just like no names at quarterback. The, exactly. You think honestly games. how Flacco performed late in the season last year? Deshaun can't do that. Deshaun's old. D- you, you Deshaun, think he's fallen off. Yeah, he's fallen like, off to I, the point I, where yeah. like Flacco came in and did some amazing stuff. If Deshaun was healthy, 
they wouldn't have they wouldn't have been fifth seed. Are you kidding me? Wait, so oh, because Flacco is por- performing above what he actually is. Right, like he was just performing so well. Yeah, I'm not. Deshaun yeah, I'm not saying. Reach that. Right, I'm not saying Deshaun. I'm not saying Flacco's better than Deshaun right now. But how Flacco played during that stretch, I don't know what he was eating. But he, whatever he ate, was it's helping him on the sidelines. Yeah. Wait, so, <laughs> so you think he wasn't eating not nachos in the booth? But there's no, there's no, there's no faith in Deshaun Watson no. becoming what he used to be on the Houston Texans. No. I, I agree no. with and John. You know, I, I still stand by the Steelers just because of the quarterback situation. I love to hate the Browns. Well, you know, we'll all Deshaun's there. <laughs> but I agree. At this point, how many years has he been expected to be good? And it's like it yeah, hasn't come lot. yet. Saying nothing of his off the field controversies like i i kind of agree with john in that sense that not not yeah i don't know if i could go so far as say flacco would have been better overall but like i think it's whatever was there ain't there anymore and it's just the defense carrying sadly yep for, for browns fans yeah i don't, I don't what about I don't the addition of jerry judy that's a sneaky sucks, good receiver he pickup sucks. that's he's sneaky kind of good. Similar, sucks. he's been expected to be good for years too like there was so many fantasy drafts yes. that picked him and he's like that's ah, not enough not, like, yeah he, he never maybe. was good he could be. Yeah, but, but now he's like, got a chip on his shoulder. He's got a chip on his shoulder. Dude, the chips are freaking like just, salt and vinegar chips. chips. Nobody likes too salt many. and vinegar chips. No, they're, they're good. there's just too many chips to balance. It's everyone. <laughs> yeah, there's just, there's too many chips. They <laughs> fell off. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's the best you can't have if every player on the team has a chip on their shoulder, then something's wrong. <laughs> so wait, so so you think that the Browns are going to be – they went eleven and six last year. They, I'm, I'm saying gonna be, no, I'm saying good. I said Browns nine and eight. So they don't get at, they they don't get lucky Actually, in those yeah, three games. Hold, hold on, let me just explain <laughs> my situation in the division because it might yeah, shed yeah. some light on how I think. Um, because you guys are like acting like I think this is crazy shit stuff, but basically I have the Ravens and Bengals tying in terms of record thirteen and four. The, the Ravens will get the tiebreaker. Then I have the Steelers and Browns tying in record at 9-8, and eight, but the Steelers having the tiebreaker. So I feel like oh. so that's why I have Ravens. Ravens are winning the division, but Bengals are going to be right there. And then S- Browns are going to get last, but Steelers are going to be right there. So it's not like I think there's a huge difference between the Steelers and Browns. I just, I, I'm pretty confident in saying Browns will get last, though. Yeah, the Browns, their defense gave a lot of teams trouble last season. So Right, but th- for them to even get to even close to where they were last year, that would have to happen again. And and without Nick Chubb, at least last year they had Chubb. The defense had somebody to run and be like, okay, let's hold the ball. We could stay on the bench a little bit. Now you don't have that. Defense yeah, but is... Jerome, Jerome Ford filled in he, he, late yeah, in the season when well. they had that run. Yeah, he did well. But for, again, Flacco, <laughs> again, Flacco like, played lights out. <laughs> I know, but I think Deshaun has the higher ceiling. Like he could play better than what Flacco is playing. Yeah, when's the last time you saw Deshaun throw three touchdowns in a game? You can't even remember. He's got to be on when the I had hair. Guys, <laughs> y'all do realize? Didn't Deshaun Watson? He went five and one last season, right before he got injured. Did he? Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't, don't think remember. So. That's not right. Well, either he's it, injured or banned, or or like the team has injuries. Yeah, like, either it's way, so it's just a years. bad. Yeah. Yeah, where the Browns were supposed to like this is our year and it's yeah like he was sadly I think, I think he, he ended up a five and win and the first few games were kind of choppy they won because of defense and things like that but he started to look really good then he got injured Honor, I, if I remember correctly oh. though those first few games were against like super easy teams I, oh. <laughs> I could be remembering wrong <laughs> let me I'm gonna look still, it up somebody yeah, somebody look it up well, still I'm looking it up right now Sean still has gas in the kitchen okay he still has he still has some fire to bring and. I think it's gas in the tank yes, is what you're saying. What's with our allegories? I, I, we, are, we are off our <laughs> game. I'm not even sure if I'm using the right word. We're, we're shaking the rust off. I think, uh, I, I think Deshaun's going to – He's gonna get his mojo back together. I okay, think so. so here, here I agree. We go. I actually agree. I, and his mobility is something that Flacco doesn't have. So, but you still pick the Steelers, right? Like big picture, to be worse. No, I Steelers are last for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. here what we go. Think, yeah, yeah, yeah. So last year, let's see. The first game of the year was against the Bengals at home. Somehow they held Burrow to eighty-two passing yards. They won that game. 
Cat. Oh, because that's Bengals a good win. That is Bengals always start terrible. They haven't won. They haven't started. Started. Yeah, and Bengals two always seasons, start yeah. terrible. Anyway, yeah. next game they go to Pittsburgh and lose. Then okay. they play the Titans. Beat the Titans. Okay. That was that's pretty easy. But anyway, yep. then they played the Ravens. Lost twenty eight three. So now they're two okay. and two. Then they beat the 49ers. That's impressive. Whoa. That was Very because impressive. of the defense. Yes. And then they beat the <laughs> they beat the Colts, lost to the Seahawks. So I don't know what is that four and three. Kinda so it's not like Deshaun went any anything crazy. Wait, are you reading that right? Are you reading that right? So uh, the Forty ers didn't lose a game that early. No, they did. Are you reading yes, this? They right? did. <laughs> the Forty ers weren't they undefeated for a long time? No, that was the Eagles. the Eagles. Oh, it was the Eagles that were undefeated for a long time? Yeah, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Browns won because of the the missed kick by Moody. Yeah. Um, yeah. But <clears throat> yeah, it's I mean, an interesting so, point. I mean, I think, I think honestly, Nick Chubb's coming back as well. He's gonna no, come back not... like halfway through the season. Yeah, that's halfway through. That's perfect. That's perfect, <laughs> dude. You, dude, do you <laughs> did you see what dude. happened to him? He's got like a freaking new leg. Dude, he that that legit <laughs> thing happened to him at Georgia. The same exact thing happened where he's running out of bounds. His literal leg went up forward, and he came back. Okay, how many times is it going to happen, back. though? Like, well, Dude, like it, I think he gets better. <laughs> he gets better? He gets better. Dude, well, every time he does it, he gets bone, better. It's snapped in half, dude. Well, no, if yeah, a no, bone he breaks, gets better. it comes back stronger. This is like Snapped this is in half? Facts. It's not even together anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, if, <laughs> it doesn't stay snapped in two pieces. Like, it'll bond as one. <laughs> In yeah, no, he's way. he's gonna come back fi- absolutely fine. Well, Sean McCoy, I think, broke his ankle, and then like after that, he actually like blossomed. I about going deep for some people who don't know Eagles running back years ago. Uh, how do you guys feel about Joe Burrow though? Like, cause I he, yeah, that's I, I have them to... I have them third Whoa. in the division. Which I'm is... really concerned. Right. I'm really concerned. For for fairness' sake to all of us, AFC North and if, if it is projected to be the strongest division in all of football at the start mm-hmm. of this season. They're projected to be the toughest division. Uh, all the teams are very strong, and then that's projections. Last year's actual, they were the most. They were the toughest division last year. So they're looking to, you know, if we're talking about fourth place, you might still have a pretty. You still might have a winning record. In fact, the Bengals did at nine and eight. So yeah, I am to be fair. But the yeah, only how reason, do we Burrow? The only reason I'm worried about Burrow that wrist injury is not something we've seen in quarterbacks. And he yeah. did say earlier this month, like, oh, I'm a little bit, like, felt a little bit sore. He said, no, I'm going to be fine for the season. But for for that to be still lingering at all, it's a little bit worrisome, especially because Mixon's gone. So this team is going to be throwing the ball a lot. Yeah, and think yeah. about why the division's so good. <laughs> Ravens defense, Browns defense, Steelers yeah. defense. Yeah. He's going, he's got to play all of them twice. Steelers, uh, Tom. And he's, he's already had two injuries in, what, four seasons? That were season ending, so it's yeah. really concerning that I don't know if he can last a full yeah, season. Really and then different. you add in the fact that they got rid of Mixon, they got rid of Joe Mixon, they got they, Zach Moss, which is going to be a question mark. But I don't know if he's going to be able to to like hand off to Chase Brown to Zach Moss like he was with Joe Mixon. I don't think you're going to get the production they, anymore. Yeah, I they just gotta. Uh, the, the Bengals got to, like, how many years, you know, the, okay, let me let me tr- show you guys my train of thought, right? The way we talk about Watson, Deshaun Watson losing his mojo. Like, there was a time when he when he was on the Texans. Like, we're talking, the way we talk about Stroud, how, well, we'll, we'll I know we'll get to it, but they were supposed to be, they were very good last year. They're going to be good this year is what everyone's saying. There was a time when we talked about Deshaun Watson, the way we talk about Stroud now. And, like, I think for, I'm with John, I think Deshaun Watson's not, it anymore you know mm-hmm. but then it's like i feel like burrow is kind of getting closer like to that not obviously he hasn't done anything off the field as far as we know but like more like how many years he did make the super bowl he is supposed to be this good but it's like how many years do the bengals have to start terribly and not protect joe burrow and it's like this first few weeks i'm gonna be watching just and like, like a parrot like are they gonna do the same thing where the first few weeks are just lost because they got to figure out whatever's wrong yeah and we for, for how many years were we like, he hits so many, statistically, he gets hit so much that he's going to get hurt and it's going to affect his play. And John, I'm with you. I mean, I've heard, you know, no one knows his body the way he will, but I've heard with this wrist injury that it does affect your overall, like, throwing capacity in some way, at least normally. Now, who knows the intricacies of every injury, but it's like you're saying, we have never seen an injury like this, and it just comes off of two or three years where it's like, 
the Bengals don't do as great a job as they should for protecting their talisman because they went nine and eight with and without him. They could have been so much better, but it's like so much time, not so much time has passed, but it's like how many more years would it's like the rumblings be like, he's the guy in the NFL, the face of the franchise, the new face of the NFL. Like and he, and he has the capacity to, but fundamentally we've talked every year of like, they don't start strong, the injuries. And it's like, that's guy. I mean, I, that's why I was asking you guys, but I feel like coming off the injury, it's going to, you know, it's those first few weeks is going to repeat the pattern. Like, even if they weren't going to change fundamentally, it's still similar with the Jets. Like, it's just getting back on the field, coming, trusting your body again. It's going to take a little time, I, I think. But he is that good. He's not Watson-esque in my sense. But, you know, that that's where I, I, I picked the Ravens over that. Well, you guys convinced me, John and Caleb. I'm changing my last pick um, to, like, who's going to get last in the division. It's not going to be the Steelers. It's going to be the Bengals, actually. Oh, I, I, I I oh he changes it. I changed it, yeah. So you agree with John? I, I don't know how I could fix yeah, you. Risk, I, risk, risk, the really issue. I agree, especially going against TJ Watt and Miles Garrett and the Ravens. Yeah. Well, wait, but John had Browns. Yeah, yeah, oh, I know he Brown, but yeah, yeah. his logic in terms of um, how Joe Burrow <laughs> like, could risk. Or was that you, John? Jared? One of you guys talked about it. It was a bit of both. It was a bit of both. Let me share the <laughs> John has him going in the second place, and you have him dead last. And Caleb had Steelers dead last. Who convinced who? I don't now. think convinced me to put, push, it, push it last. Because I'm looking at all that. Wow. Really? All the you're, you're sure on that. What could happen? The Bengals are in trouble in terms of that wrist. It's still lingering. I saw, I saw a report about that a few days ago, but I was like, all right. We'll He'll just throw with his left hand. It's fine. No, he's not, he's, not that, he's not that guy. He's not Mahomes. He's not Mahomes. Uh, so, yeah, the Bengals are going to get last. I'm changing it. All right. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Fine.